<laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Monday Night Raw review, and my name is Kevin Dunn. Look at my teeth. Look at how white they are, right? You know, this was a great go-home show, man. I really love this go-home show. Aren't you all excited for payback? Aren't you all excited for payback? I know I am. I know I'll be squeezing two to toothpaste in my mouth. I'll be flossing and I'll brushing my teeth. I can't wait, man. It's going to be a big party. It's going to be a big party. But there was no Roman Reigns tonight. There was no Roman Reigns. And we gave you the Miz. And we gave you Chris Jericho. And we gave you... That... Samoa Joe. Did you see how many chicken sandwiches Samoa Joe ate tonight? <laughs> he looks better than ever, man. And what is with the... What is with the promos for... The artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura? Is that the new musical artist on the Billboard Top 200? Who is that, man? Nakamura? Is that a, is that a Chinese restaurant in, uh, in Chinatown? You know, I like some, I like some fried wontons. I like some dumplings, man. But they're not good for my teeth, though. They stain my teeth. But, you know, we're not here to talk about Samoa Joe's chicken sandwiches. And we're not here to talk about, uh, uh, Sushi Mora. You know, it sounds like something I order at the at the Chinese restaurant, but you know, we're we're in that raw tonight, man. It, it, this was uh, th this was a good show, man. You know, the crowd was hot, the crowd looked good, you know, and Michael Cole, he was on top of his game, and Roman Reigns. I still can't believe Roman Reigns was there, man. Roman Reigns wasn't at the show. He wasn't at the show, man. I don't know where Roman Reigns is, man. I, you know, this, this makes me sad. This makes me sad that Roman Reigns wasn't at the show. Oh, my God, man. I hope he's okay. I hope he's okay. I heard that there's rumors that it's going to be an ambulance match at Payback. I don't think my teeth, my teeth can handle that, man. I, I don't know. My teeth are trembling. Poor Roman Reigns. He's probably stuck in a hospital somewhere. And he doesn't have good water. And he doesn't have a proper toothbrush. Poor Roman Reigns. You know what? Uh, he, he, he's going to beat the uh, the monster known as Braun Strowman. Yeah, Braun Strowman is the monster among men, man. I don't think so. Yeah, come payback. I think, I think Braun Strowman is going to go down one, two, three. You know, now I have two teeth, but... I'll grow a third tooth to see Roy Strowman go down clean. I tell you what, man, this show, what do you think of Chris Jericho and, and Dean Ambrose? Did you like them in the main event? That main event was, was fantastic, man. That was so exciting. You know, you, you, uh, you fucking marks, you want to see AJ Styles and, uh, and Dumpling Nakamura and all these fucking, uh, these indie, these indie losers, man. You know, the Miz in the main event in the handicap match. Wasn't that exciting, man? You know? I don't blame anyone for not wanting to be his tag team partner. This show was great. They were all, uh, you know, they were all, you know, too busy with Titus Catering in the back. They didn't want to come out and team with the Miz. Oh my god, did you see Apollo Crews? Did you see his teeth tonight, man? And then Titus O'Neil comes out, and he he just recruited his newest sushi chef, man. Titus O'Neil has a new employee for Titus Catering. I don't believe it, man. That was a groundbreaking situation tonight. You know, not a lot of a lot of people won't be talking about that tomorrow, but that may be the biggest thing of the night, man. Did you see Curtis Axel? Curtis Axel was on the show tonight. He was in the what is that movie called? Uh The Marine? The Marine File? Oh my god, man. You know, he uh he made a, a nice hefty paycheck for that one, man. 
after all those uh, tightest meals he's been eating, uh, we figured we'd make him into a superstar. You know, it, it, this, this show was great, man. This, this, show had, this show had everything, man. This show had everything for a go-home show, man. You know, aren't you guys excited about Payback? I know I am. Payback is going to be uh, one of the best shows I think we have ever put on, man. You know, what about that women's segment, man? What do you think of Alicia Fox? What do you think of Alicia Fox, man? You guys wanted new women to use in the women's division? There you go, man. That's a, that's a Kevin Dunn project right there, man. Kevin Dunn giving you guys what you want. Dana Brooke? Don't you see how great Dana Brooke looks, man? She looks fantastic. She looks as good as my teeth after a fucking cleaning from Isaac Yankum, man. Unbelievable. That was a great match, man. What about Sasha Banks? What about Bailey? What about uh, 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 Alexa Bliss? That was great, man. I can't wait to see that women's championship match. That women's championship match was built up in two weeks. There's a lot of there's a lot of emotion, man. There's a lot of emotion going into that women's championship. That's going to be a, a physical match, man. There's going to be a lot of hatred. There's going to be uh, a lot of brutality. There's going to be, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of storyline there. A lot of you guys don't like to see it, but there's a lot of storyline there, man. You might not see it now, but you know, you'll, you'll see it on Monday after payback, you know. But uh, this show is great, but what about, what about those cruiserweights, man? 205 Live, they don't even go more than two minutes and five seconds every week. But that's a Kevin Dunn initiative, man. They can't go over two minutes. They can't go over three minutes. Because I don't like it. I don't like it. My teeth don't like it. Vince McMahon don't like it. Roman Reigns don't like it. But, uh, oh, this is a great show, man. What, what else happened tonight? What, uh, what about Finn Balor? Did you see Finn Balor's gonna be on the pre-show? Oh, man. How many people are we gonna upset with that one, man? Finn Balor on the Payback pre-show with the Miz. Oh man, what about what about the club? The club's gonna be on the pre-show too. You 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 fucking uh, smart marks. You you think Balor's gonna get back with Gallows and Anderson? No, man, not not on my watch, man. Not on not on my watch, man. Did you know? Did you know that I pitched the idea of Roman Reigns versus the Undertaker? Did you know that it was supposed to be AJ Styles versus The Undertaker? That was all me, man. Did you know the John Cena proposal was all me? Yeah, I'm a creative genius, man. I'm a creative genius. Oh, man, what, what else happened on this show? Man? There's just so much action on this show, I can't even think about it right now. Oh, man, I'm trying to think. Shit, I can't wait to get back to my hotel room and brush my teeth. You know, I had uh, I had some of those Chips Ahoy cookies from uh, Titus Catering, or those homemade cookies, and uh, I got I got some chocolate chips in my teeth, man. I can't go I can't go to sleep without brushing my teeth. All that sugar, you know. Uh, I gotta brush my teeth about seventeen times a day, man. You, you, you gotta keep up. You gotta keep up. Look at my teeth, man. Look at my white teeth. Don't you see my white teeth, man? Oh, man, what 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 else happened on this show tonight? Oh, man, sure. Nakamura? Nakamura? You guys are interested in seeing Nakamura tomorrow? Oh, that's ridiculous, man. You want to go see Nakamura? You could go to the to the Chinese joint right down the rock. You want to see Nakamura? They're probably cooking a rat. They're probably cooking a dog. You know? They probably got, like, a, a C rating from the health department. Nakamura? Yeah, fucking Nakamura, man. You know, serve me some Nakamura with some extra soy sauce. What about that duck sauce, man? That duck sauce is fucking tasty. I know Nakamura knows what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> you guys think he's gonna be a, a, a WWE champion? You guys think he's gonna be WrestleMania made of better against AJ Styles? <laughs> you guys got another thing coming, man. This is Kevin Dunn's show. Sure, forget, fuck out of here, man. I'm gonna book AJ Styles versus Roman Reigns for WrestleMania. Roman Reigns is gonna beat AJ Styles. Nakamura and Brock Lesnar all on the same night, man. Yeah, we're going to make him the biggest shoe star of all time. And we're going to piss on the internet, man. It's going to be a great show, man. WrestleMania 34. 
Oh, man, what, what else happened on this show, man? I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, man. What, what else happened? You know, I think that was, you know, Braun Strowman and Kalisto. Uh, yeah, Kalisto, he got his ass kicked, man. You know, he, he wanted some rice and beans so badly that he asked Braun Strowman to, to, to kick his ass so that he can get out of the arena. Apparently, there was a, a Mexican restaurant right off the street from the arena that he couldn't wait to go into, man. He got free shots of Patron, and he got a, a chicken burrito with extra guacamole. No, no, guacamole's not good for my teeth, man. I don't like guacamole. It makes my teeth green, man. But uh, Kalisto reads Braun Strowman in a, in a dumpster match, man. That was some great match, man. You know, you know, fuck the rules of a dumpster match. Braun Strowman wasn't even in the dumpster. I thought, you know, you guys thought that the dumpster had to be closed like a casket. Not on Kevin Dunn's show, man. Not on Kevin Dunn's show. <laughs> and then Kalisto goes off the, the stage. You guys thought it was going to be Attitude Era stage, man. The Attitude Era stage was uh, was a little raised up. It was a little high. You know, the, the, the new stage over here, it's like... Uh, it's like a kiddie pool, man. So, uh, Kalisto wasn't hurt. You guys, you guys were scared for Kalisto's health. Man. Kalisto's okay. He'll be, he'll be back in catering next week, man. Don't worry about it. You know, and, and Ron Strowman, he, he, he's about to take a Superman punch and payback, man. Superman punch and, and, uh, a, a drive-by and a spear. You know, I, I drive by Roman Reigns' house every week, man. You know, I love to tickle his balls. I love to tickle his balls, man. He, he likes when I tickle his balls with my two front teeth over here, man. You know, this is, this is fucking awesome. You know, that's why he's so successful. Now, you guys want exclusive backstage information. You know, Roman Reigns is so successful because he has my front two teeth over here really scratching his balls. And all the sweat that builds up in the match... You know, he needs someone to, uh, to tickle his balls for him, man. That's why he's so successful. And, and, and the fact that he gives a, a damn good hand job to, uh, to Vince McMahon, you know? And then I'll get his sloppy seconds. That's what we do. That's what we do in the office, man. And then we'll rush our teeth, and we'll go out for a drink, and then we'll rush our teeth some more, and we'll, we'll, we'll play with his balls, and then we'll go to sleep. That's what we do. <laughs> Anyway, man, that's your Monday Night Raw review. Uh, this show was fantastic. This show was uh, one of the best I ever seen. That's what I call a go home show, man. And if you guys don't like that, uh, you know what? Go watch some TNA, man. Go watch some Scott Steyer on TNA. And I think he's coming on Thursday, man. Big Pop of Pump coming back. <laughs> Well, that's your Monday Night Roll review, man. If you enjoyed the video, you know, you know, hit the thumbs up. And subscribe to this clown JD. He sucks dick, man. This JD guy sucks dick, man. He thinks he's got nice teeth. No way, man. I got the nicest teeth right here on YouTube.com. <laughs> My name's Kevin Dunn, man. And you won't see me on SmackDown Review, man, because, uh, you know what? Nakamura. Nakamura Perfect 10. I got the perfect teeth, man. Fuck that show. Sammy Zane, Kevin Owens. Did you see how many hamburgers Kevin Owens had, man? You see how fat he is? You know, him and Samoa Joe are sharing the same diet, man. Too many chicken sandwiches. Anyway, man, uh, I'm getting out of here. That's your Monday Night Raw review, and uh, that's Kevin Dunn. <laughs> First of all, I want to I wanna thank Monica. Monica, who's been a loyal sub to the channel for overnighting this to me. She reached out to me via email, and she said, uh, do you want the Kevin Dunn stuffed animal you mentioned on Out of Nowhere a couple weeks back? I'm like, yeah. She's like, uh, uh, me and my husband want to buy it for you. I'm like, that's sweetie. You don't have to do that. But if I wanted one or, one or the other, this was the one I wanted. She overnighted it, ordered it off Amazon, so it came today. So I'm like, you know what? I got to use it, and what a better... There's no better way to fucking use it than, than this shit show tonight, man. That was a, a fucking horrendous piece of shit Monday Night Raw. And the way that... The way that that show un, un, unraveled for payback and led into payback, that was supposed to be a go-home show. 
I don't give a fuck, man. I, I honestly don't care. WWE doesn't care about their fucking product. I'm not going to give a fuck about doing the reviews, man. There's absolutely nothing that happened on that show that I should sit here for 50 minutes about and discuss. It was fucking god-awful. And what did I tell you? Monday Night Raw went right back to being fucking garbage. How many weeks are we removed from the superstar shakeup? And look what they're doing, man. That opening segment was god-awful. The main event was god-awful. The best thing about Monday Night Raw, again, was the fact that A, there was no Roman Reigns. B, there was no Stephanie McMahon. C, Braun Strowman. That was it. Nothing else on this show even fucking mattered. Nothing. At all. Even the fucking segment with Rollins and, and Joe didn't do anything for me, man. Nothing at all. Balor's on the pre-show. He doesn't have a feud. We gotta wait till Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt finish this fucking House of Horrors. What I've been telling you? What have I been telling you, man? You wanna see House of Horrors? They could have had the House of Horrors tonight. There was nothing more horrific than that fucking Monday Night Raw. And that's why you got the review that you did. And I'm not talking about it anymore because, quite frankly, I don't want to be sitting here anymore. I don't. I don't want to be sitting here anymore. And you're going to watch it anyway. And you're going to laugh and you're going to be entertained. So that's all that matters to me. We'll talk about it on Off the Script. There's absolutely nothing for me to talk about as it concerns this Monday Night Raw. And that's it. I'm done. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to the channel, if you guys want more entertainment, more news and rumors, and more podcasts like I, like I can only give you, Subscribe, patreon.com slash JD from NY206. If you guys want to su support with a t-shirt, barbershopwindow.com slash off the script. And if you guys want to check out Audible, audibletrial.com slash off the script. 30 days to try their service out free with one free audio book. Do it now, man. We're, we're over 100 uh, new signups for the month. We, we just broke a record all time. So if you guys want to check that out, great ways. Those three ways are the best ways to support this show and this channel and this podcast, man. Once again, thank you to everybody for your love and support. Hit that thumbs up. Share the video. Thank you to Monica for the new mascot of Off The Script, Mr. Kevin Dunn over here. And I will see you guys tomorrow morning with Off The Script Extra. Until then, I am JD. Have a good night, guys. And I will see you all tomorrow for real news. Exclusive news about a new WWE draft this year after SummerSlam. We're going to talk about that tomorrow on Off The Script Extra. Also, part three of Off The Script went up this afternoon at 5.30 p.m. Make sure you guys go and check it out. Link will be in the annotation that you see on the screen right in the video. Once again, I'm JD. Hit that thumbs up, and I'll see you guys right back here for more Off The Script Extra Tuesday morning right here on the channel. Have a good night.